Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. Summit County is now considered medium risk on the CDC's COVID risk monitor. COVID caseload is 212 per 100,000 people. That's the highest it's been since the holiday surge. Locals in their 40s and 60s are most likely to catch COVID right now. Symptoms are mild and hospital visits are rare. City of Boulder is banning assault rifles, high-capacity magazines, and gun sales to anyone under the age of 21. City Council unanimously approved those bans last night. This will test Colorado's new preemption law. Last year, Governor Polis gave local towns and cities the ability to preempt state law with stricter local gun laws. In 42 states, the law actually prevents this from happening. Louisville and Longmont are passing similar bans. No Summit County towns are immediately pursuing new gun laws. We have been calling local police chiefs to learn about their encounters with guns. Chief Kale Osborne at Dillon PD. The call dynamics in in our county have have changed in recent years and firearms are more predominant. And I think that's a trend that that is is being seen throughout the country. Dillon and Breckenridge are part of the Colorado Firearm Safety Coalition. This statewide program gives gun owners a safe and temporary place to store firearms. What it's really designed to do is is people in crisis that do not want firearms in their possession or in their house, you know, we're more than happy to provide a short-term solution to that. State law requires secure storage of firearms. Gun boxes are the minimum. Gun safes are better. Dylan and other PDs also provide trigger locks. Drunk driving dominated the Summit Sheriff's arrest log last week. Three people were busted for speeding and weaving while under the influence. One man drove the wrong way through a roundabout. This week, on the State of Summit, Governor Jared Polis recently signed hundreds of bills into law. Summit Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons testified on several and describes the process like this. It is mind-boggling to be down there underneath the dome, you know, at the Capitol, and see how the sausage gets made, right? People love to eat sausage, but it's not really pretty watching it get made. Over a dozen new bills directly change law enforcement, including three that flew under the radar. Up first is a $5 million grant program for school resource officers. During COVID, when the school shut down, uh, obviously the school resource officers were also removed from the schools. And then with staffing problems through COVID, We didn't put them back until just this month. This one, like many, has limitations. Fitzsimons calls the $5 million grant pool small. Up next is a new residency rule letting PDs hire officers that are not Colorado residents. This was brought forward by, I would say, what you call, what we call, you know, border sheriffs or law enforcement officials on the four corners of the state. In Summit, the sheriff hopes a new starting wage of $72,800 does the trick, attracting and keeping deputies. Last are updates to missing persons investigations. Now the law says that it doesn't matter where someone lives, where they're missing from, that anyone in the state of Colorado can report anyone missing to any jurisdiction. This one also creates a yearly report for missing persons and their status. This has been the State of Summit on Crystal 93. Local fire danger is moderate again today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies play the Giants tonight at 745. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos. At their new location on Airport Road, mountain bikers are lining up at Frisco Peninsula for opening race of the Town Mountain Bike Series. Kids race at 515, adults at 610. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.